Let's head to the movies this weekend. How about it, if you dare? You know, we got our first glimpse of her in The Conjuring, Annabelle, that haunted porcelain doll who was scary. She scared audiences in her own film a couple of years ago, too, and she's not done yet. Tara joins us to talk Annabelle creation. You know what, this is why I had a scrunchie, the ShopRite bear growing up. Wasn't big into dolls at the time, but we're actually here on the set. Um, Warner Brothers has recreated the late daughter's bedroom from the film Annabelle Creation. We had a chance to sit down with the cast, and I don't mean to be a Monday morning quarterback, but quite frankly, they could have done a much better job keeping the creepy doll locked up in the first place. After Samuel and I lost our daughter, no! we prayed to see our girl again. The contact started small, but then she wanted permission to move into the doll. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like they didn't do a good enough job keeping the doll locked up in the first place. <laughs> Definitely. No, I agree with that. Come on, what would you have done differently? You guys are smart. <laughs> Maybe um, hidden the key better <laughs> in, in a place where somebody wouldn't look. It has a mind of its own, that doll. It didn't matter what I did. You know, I papered a whole key. room with like. Uh, yeah. With the We're Bible. working against forces bigger than ourselves. That's so. right. We had good intentions in the beginning. Why is the doll still in the house? Exactly. That was my first question. Well, I had a lot of questions. Janice found this doll. What doll? The one in the white dress. You mustn't go near that doll. Is it true your daughter just went nuts when she found out you were going to do one? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, if my entire. <laughs> body of work she could not care less and then she heard me Forget talking about Annabelle and she was <laughs> like you have to do this it's important to my whole life has she seen the film yes and loves it we won't give anything away but some not so great things happen in the house and some may have happened or may not have happened to you she, she seems seem to, to be problem. weirdly immune <laughs> to anything awful yeah. you know it's all good yeah Let's start with ruining a song. <laughs> I loved You Are My Sunshine. My grandfather used to sing this to my grandmother every day. I don't love it so much anymore. It, it is sort of a nice song. I like that idea of kind of ruining things for people. You know, like in, in my previous movie, Lights Out, you know, ruining darkness for people to really make them afraid of it. And, and this making people really fear dolls because they're all around us. And it, 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 you kind of want that when people walk out of the movie to then have the movie live with them. So whenever they see creepy dolls and they're like, oh, crap. Do you have issues? Is that where this all stems from? Like, oh, I have many issues. <laughs> yeah. Can you help me? What do you need? How hard is it to act scared on cue? David did a really good job of, job of setting the scene, so you didn't really feel like it was like, okay, I have to be scared now, like it was such work, but really you could feel like you were in character and you were in the zone. So before he wraps me, you're scared because you've just seen a morning anchor without their makeup. Your reaction? That's more confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's puzzled. I probably wouldn't even react. <laughs> just be like, hi. I need a good morning anchor, no makeup, and. Okay, that's good. She's got the eyes. Those eyes get wide. I wouldn't get scared, though. I would be like, okay, you're not wearing makeup. <laughs> you, you'd feel sorry, though. You'd be, plus, you haven't seen me without makeup. You might get a little scared. Annabelle. 